Hi there, it's Asia. Today, let's take one simple idea and transform it into a variety of complex band 7 and even band 9 sentences. Why are those complex sentences important? Well, to achieve a high score for your grammar, or actually even to achieve a band 6 score, you need to use a mix of simple and complex sentence forms. To achieve band 7, you need a variety of complex grammatical structures. And for a band 8 or 9 score, you need a wide range of them. Okay, now you know why those complex sentences are important. Ready to write some? Let's get started! To set the scene for our sentences, let's use a topic. Here it is. Not enough students around the world choose to study science subjects at university. What are the reasons for this? What impact does this issue have on society? At the end of the video, I'll share the full sample answer with you. But now let's take one simple idea and turn it into high-scoring sentences. Here it is. Students do not want to study science. They choose to study business and law instead. These sentences are very simple from the grammatical point of view. They are probably band 5 level, even though they are correct. Let's merge them into one sentence. Then we get Some students choose to study business and law rather than science. So here we've already used the grammatical construction rather than, business and law rather than science. I prefer drinking coffee rather than tea. So it's already better, but let's talk about the band 7 level sentences. Some sentences in English are called complex. To turn our sentence into a complex one, we need to add another sentence, the dependent clause, using the linking words because, when, where, although, until, or some others. Please try to write your complex sentences and post them in the comments below. For example, we take our sentence Some students choose to study business or law rather than science and then we want to give the reason. Why? Because? How could you finish this sentence? I decided to say because scientists are paid significantly less than business managers or solicitors. Solicitors are a type of lawyers. We could use where. Some students choose to study business or law rather than science where salaries are significantly lower. So the same idea, but a different sentence. Here is another one. Some students choose to study business or law, although they have an aptitude for science. So here we turned our initial sentence into a complex sentence. And an aptitude is a natural ability, something you are naturally good at. To make these sentences perfect, you need to use the correct punctuation. As a rule, when you have your linking words in the middle of the sentence, you don't need commas, like in the first two examples. Although is an exception. When we have it in a sentence, we tend to always use a comma. But if you move your dependent clause to the beginning and then your sentence starts with because, where, or some other linking words, we use commas. So let's transform the first sentence. We move because to the beginning. Because scientists are paid significantly less than business managers or solicitors, comma. Some students choose to study business or law rather than science. We can't really transform the second sentence in this way because it will make no sense. But we can do it with the third example. Although some students have an aptitude for science, comma, 
they choose to study business or law instead. To get a high score for your grammar, it's really important to use commas correctly. Let me show you another type of complex sentences. That's when you add a relative clause with words who, which, or that. Relative clauses are great in IELTS writing because you can add some extra information to any sentence and easily turn a simple sentence into a complex one. Let me show you how you can do it. So we take the same idea. Some students choose to study business or law rather than science. So let's add some information about students. Some students who... What could you add here? Please write your sentence and post it in the comments. I wrote, some students who are bright and ambitious choose to study business or law rather than science. So when we talk about people, we use who. When we talk about objects, we use which or that. So let's say something extra about science. Some students choose to study business or law rather than science, which... Again, what could you say here? I said, which may be considered less prestigious. So these are complex sentences. What about punctuation? Ah, that's a complex topic in itself. Basically, when the meaning of the sentence is clear without the relative clause, you need to put a comma before and a comma after. Like in our second example, we put a comma before which. But if the meaning of the sentence is not clear without your clause, then you don't need any commas. Like in the first example, some students who are bright and ambitious choose to study business or law. So this sentence means that those who are bright and ambitious choose business or law not just some students. So we've already changed the meaning of the sentence and we can't easily remove it. I know it's a bit difficult. So let me show you two simple sentences to demonstrate the point. The boy who wears the red t-shirt is my son. Let's try to remove the clause. The boy is my son. Which boy? There are several boys. Which one? It's not clear. That's why we don't use commas here. Here's another one. My son, who wears the red t-shirt, is five years old. So here we can remove it. My son is five years old. It's clear enough. That's why we use a comma before and a comma after the relative clause. Let's try to merge both types of our complex sentences into one. Here is what we get. Some students who are bright and ambitious choose to study business or law rather than science because scientists are paid significantly less than business managers or solicitors. This sentence is already highly complex, but I would say it's a little bit straightforward. Let's add an element of doubt. Let's say that it's not always so, it's just usually so. Here's how we can do it. Some students who are bright and ambitious may choose to study business or law rather than science because scientists are often paid significantly less than business managers or solicitors. So they may choose that or may not so we're not sure, we're not stating that's always so. And may is a modal verb, so it's great to use. And scientists are often paid less. They're not always paid less. So this sentence is more precise. And I would say that's our perfect band nine sentence. So we've transformed a simple idea into band nine sentence. In IELTS writing, it's important to remember two things. 
to get a high score for your grammar, you need to use a wide range of grammatical structures. The more, the better. But you get your high score only if you maintain the level of accuracy. To get band 7, many of your sentences must be grammatically correct without a single grammatical mistake. So choose the complexity level that is right for you. I have other videos about writing complex sentences and I will link it on the screen. And if you'd like to see the sample answer for the topic we use today, it will be right here. Thank you so much for watching me today. Good luck with your preparation and your exam. Bye!